Rumors of hazing were dismissed after further investigation into an off-campus party involving Stu's rugby team. The university suspended Saturday's game against UPEI, resulting in a forfeit for the Tommies. Assistant coach Owen Marshall speaks on the matter. It's quite clear that uh, athletics is a privilege, and if you want to partake in the privilege, that you need to sign the code of conduct, and you need to be aware that your conduct can be judged. Senior rugby player Dave Jennings says he understands the sanction placed on his team and wants people to know no player was pressured to drink. I guess I can see where they're coming from, where they say it's like they, we create an atmosphere which facilitated underage drinking. And, but at the same time, it's like no one was there that didn't want to be there, no one drank that didn't want to drink. Due to a hazing incident in 2010 resulting in a student's death, the university must take full precaution. A faculty email was distributed by Jeffrey Carlton describing the incident. What we've done is we've revised our student code of conduct, uh, we've revised our athletics code of conduct, we try and educate the students as much as possible about appropriate behavior with their teammates, uh, with their classmates, in residence, off campus, and we get new students every year or we get new athletes every year, so we just have to keep taking these same messages and delivering them over and over again. Uh, and when we have violations, we want to deal with it quickly and thoroughly and make sure we send a strong message to our student-athletes. The men will present to university officials this week on how they hope to move forward. With only two games left in the season, the players must prove that they've learned from this incident and accept full responsibility for their actions, or this field will remain empty. For Stu Journalism, I'm Kaylee Moore.